I think TNT is quite an exciting molecule, but people slightly overrate how much energy it has. Like most explosives, it contains nitrogen, oxygen and carbon. And when it explodes or reacts, the nitrogen atoms bond together to make N2 and release a lot of energy and the oxygen combines with the carbon to make CO2. Now the problem with TNT is that it doesn't have quite enough oxygen to burn everything. So when you set off TNT you get quite a plume of black smoke. But you still get quite a lot of energy. But you don't actually get as much energy as if you were to blow up the same weight of petrol in air. The problem with petrol is that it's very difficult to disperse it in the air so it reacts quickly enough. The great thing about explosives is that you can set them off with a shock, usually from a so-called detonator, which is some quite unstable compound that will send out a shock wave and the shock wave then travels through the compound and causes a reaction very quickly. So it gives out energy fast rather than more energy. So if you had TNT in the tank of your car you'd be very disappointed. You would not go as far as with petrol. But most people don't put TNT in their tank. It's a solid anyway so it wouldn't be a very good fuel. When I first came to Nottingham there was a big jar in a display case in the corridor saying TNT from a German landmine. And people were a bit shocked when I pointed out that this was rather dangerous and somebody could steal it. So it was quickly removed. 